What's up guys, it's Ace Coden and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download PyCharm for Windows 10. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. You're going to want to have your internet browser open and you're going to want to go to python.org. Then, click on Downloads and click on Downloads for Windows. Once you've done that, it should download and then you should double click on it so it can open the installation. Remember to click Add Python 3.9 to Path so that you can use it with PyCharms. Now click Install Now. Okay, now that that has finished installing, you can click Close and then go to www.jetbrains.com slash PyCharms. Click on Download. And then there's a professional and a community version. You have to pay for professionals, so we're going to do community. Download it. Once that has finished downloading, you can go ahead and double click on it so you can start the installation. And then just wait for it to pop up. Click on yes. And then just keep on clicking on next. All you really need is a desktop shortcut if you want one. So you can tick that. Click on next, next, and then you wait for it to install again. And once it has finished installing, you just have to tick run PyCharms edition and click on finish. And it shall open. There you go. Um, you can customize the theme you want. So there's dark color, there's a light theme, high contrast, and stuff like that. But then you're going to want to make a new project and you can name it anything you want. I'll just name it tutorial since this is a tutorial. And you don't really need to enable or disable or mess with any of these settings and then just click on create and once you've done that it should open up all this text which is just a tutorial you can select all of it all of the text and then you can just delete it because you don't really need it and then once you've done that you can just start and code you can also minimize the files and here I'm just going to write in print hello world a simple program and then run it and it prints hello world thank you for watching this video make sure to like subscribe and share it with your friends my name is Ace Coden and I'll see you in the next one bye